Hello and welcome back to Autonauts. I'm Ivan and this place looks so empty. We're going to turn it into production, this place, but for now it's just dirt. So let's do that. Now the digger is done digging, but it needs to do more digging. That made sense. It's done digging, so we need to teach it how to dig in a different way. So we record, we delete its coding because it can't look for turf to dig. It needs to look for soil and um, maximum area. Good. And one, one, and one, one. And then horizontal stripes. So it fits. That's good. Use held item and forever. Oh, that's good. It already has one of the spades, so we should start digging right away. We have a digger without power here, and let's see. Now, to, to um, get our forest going, we are going to need seeds, tree seeds, so let's bring those. This, these spots are done, both of them, so uh, let's see, let's bring the seeds back and plant them and then we'll uh, reprogram these and move the storage. Oh, no more holes for the seeds. There we go. So, whoop, and whoop, and place them there. So, this one is log storage and I think it can stay log storage. So, let's stop it. Let's... Uh, to me that makes it move back here let's do that with this one as well stop and to me so it will come down now we have the stone bot as well uh, that's the temp stone uh, let's let's reprogram that one let's stop it for a sec drop the um, pickaxe the pickaxe that you don't have apparently uh, we need to make a new one so let's go get some sticks as well from this place and now that none of the bots are actually using the storage here we can move that back to its permanent location which is not going to be there uh, I'm just going to get the sticks and follow my train of thought so we don't do everything um, at the same time and end up getting nothing done because that's not very useful and I have a tendency to do that uh, so I'll try to avoid that okay so we need a new spade here we need a new spade here and here as well uh, priorities right now the priority is the pickaxe and that's this one and this one and record delete and stone deposit here let's shrink that this one we don't really need to because there is no stone deposits here but for some reason I like to I like to have it like this in an orderly fashion now uh, stunned apparently temp stone now this one is going to stay here basically forever or until we upgrade it but I'm going to call it temp because uh, in the coding it doesn't pick up a new pickaxe by itself so uh, when we make the tools and sort out the tool making properly then that's going to change okay so we didn't use these uh, logs let's um, get the log gathering one that's this one and Actually, let's move the area from here to here. As you see, this one is now, the maximum area is one tile outside, which is good. Uh, so now it's done. And now we can remove the thumb tag as well, because this one is going to gather logs forever. And no logs together right now, that's fine, because the chopping trees one isn't isn't set up yet so that one is going to be like so 
doesn't matter if it's one tile bigger in each direction but uh, when hovering the group I'm going to make it's better or it's more easier to get an overview if I do it like this. So find nearest tree, drop tree, but it's still temp like the other one because it doesn't pick up a new axe when the axe is done or broken or out of charge or whatever the axes become. So we should have tons of stone now as well and we have uh, some planks. So let's do more storage. Log, plank and pole. So what are you doing? Oh, gathering the log. Nice. Yeah, so that's automated. Brilliant. And we need three planks. And to make a pole, we need an axe or we can use the chopping block. We have one more chopping block here. So probably should set up that one as well. But first we're going to get some plank storage. And this is good. And now we can put all the planks in there. Okay, so the plan now is to find out where to keep all the stuff. So if we, uh, we need, let's see, we need sticks and stones for the tools. We need the planks, uh, the logs, sorry, for the log chain. And we're going to need uh, a place to build stuff. I think this is going to be a building area. So this place is going to be, oh, let's see. Let's see, let's have a tiny think. No, this is good actually, because if we use, if we use um, this area to turn, to turn logs into pegs and all the things, then we can keep stone and sticks and seeds up here. That's my plan. Then we can do production of tools in this direction. That's nice, that's very nice. So we need more spades. Let's do that to give these ones space. So that's two. And then let's see, one in the bag. That's the Q button to stash it in the backpack. You can only have one item in the backpack in the beginning. Uh, it's possible to get backpack pack upgrades. So, um, let's move, if we keep this one here. No, that's fine actually. So this thing will be moved out of the way, this thing out of the way, you are stopped already. So let's be doing some cleanup here. Good, good. Now we, <laughs> this one needs another uh, spade, but we don't need it to have one right now. So let's not do this because that blocks the way. Let's do this, then we can kind of pave a path later. So this one is going to make plank. That's good. And this one is going to store plank. And let's leave some breathing room, two, three. If we leave some breathing room, we can use the automated saw later. Uh, easier, at least. So, but let's not, let's not plan that far ahead, I think. I think like, like this, three tiles between. And then this one is going to be here and this one makes poles. Good. Now the bot construction doesn't matter where it is. And then we have uh, this spot. This spot we can delete. We're going to set it up again. But for now, I think it's more important to uh, have a gatherer of seeds. So this is 
uh, seed to box. And for this one to work, we actually need a box. Planks and poles. Oh, okay, we need poles for those. Let's set up the poles instead then. So this thing needs planks, logs, and poles. So let's do that. Two, three, and four. Good, good. And we are done with that. Now for these, uh, I'm thinking maybe to rotate them. This one, not as much, but this one is good like this. But this one is nice to have in that direction. It, it looks a bit weird when they're not in the same direction, but I think it's fine like this. I think, yeah, that's better. So, um, seeds and, well, let's see, I was going to store the seeds in a box, but to get a box, we need the logs, but to get, uh, poles, sorry, but to get that, we need more wood, and to do that, we need to plant more seeds, which we need to store in a box. So we have a loop and we need to start in one in one end. So let's do let's do that. This one is going to be plank make. And I think it's going to be a non-temp one. So log from storage until hands full. The reason I'm coding it like this, even though it can only hold one, is because we're going to um, upgrade it later, or copy it to an upgrade bot. I'm also going to leave the move one outside, because then it doesn't have to do this command every time it loops here. And the same, only this one is going to be inside until hands empty. This we are going to do until... Now, I in the beginning last time I did it until this one was full, but that wasn't very efficient because it, then it will stop and wait until the carry bot uh, picks it up. So I'm going to do it until plank storage is full. That might make a bit of overflow, so we will pay attention to that. Now we need uh, we need a pole, and we need uh, a seed to make another bot. So if we go through all of this, then of course I'm going to stop it so we don't mess up and run out of logs before we have log production going. And there, and bot. Okay, and this bot is going to be also a temporary one. I'm going to cheat the system and I'm going to do the seed directly. So you are going to be uh, temp seed plant and it's going to find the seeds on the ground and not in a box so find nearest seed in maximum area here and then find nearest hole move to hole use item so this thing is going to be until hands full and this thing is going to be until hands empty and this is going to be forever. And stop. Record. This area needs to be the same area. And there we go. So it actually, this area is going to be one smaller. Unimportant and would be a lot quicker if we had a banner, but we don't yet. And I don't think we're going to use one anyway for the forestry. Maybe if we expand it. So now it's going to look for a seed in the larger area, in this one as well, but it's only going to plant inside this one. And go. Hopefully that works. And you can be paused. And we can set up, we need one for 
part construction. Part, uh, part construction. And that means uh, plank make is, but well, plank is a part, sure. And then we're going to make a group for forestry. Forestry, this is not going to be team three, it's going to be team three. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's horrible, actually. So, um, chop trees, dig for forest, and plant seeds and gather logs are part of the forestry. That's a nice color on those. So let's, yeah, that worked. Oh, that's nice. So we have the bots in a group and uh, we have struggles with not enough seeds because we didn't do a skip thing. So it's going to look for seeds until hands are full, which will be fine. Uh, I am going to add a skip to it though because then it will skip to the next order when it can't find a seed. So running back down. Good, 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 and good. This is all part of a milestone, so we get like pings because we're doing good stuff. And hopefully we get some sticks here as well soon, and not just seeds. So, um, Find nearest tree, move to tree, use hot item, that's the chopped one. This one is the plant one. There we go. And this thing is skip. So if it can't do any of these, it will skip to the next one. So, and that would be if it can't find a tree seed, then it will skip to find a hole and use hot item. So now we actually have some forestry going. Let's find some sticks as well. We also need a stick gathering bot. Maybe I should send a stick gathering bot up there instead of doing it myself. But oh well. So, um, tools. We still need probably a ton of spades and a ton of axes. Most of all axes, I think. Uh, but we have one here, so I'm going to give that one. And we make a spade. I'm going to give to the other one. Good. Oh, so angry. Yes, there we go. So, new bot. Uh, log. Good. Plunk, plunk. Good. And pull. And an acorn brain for the bot. So we have materials now, so it's easy to make new bots. I don't think I'm going to automate the first bots, but we'll see. So you uh, can stop and come here and drop the turf, I believe. So that would be here, drop it, good, and move down here. So we can use this to fill here. So right now we need now we need the uh, storage. So that's planks and poles. So uh, you are going to be planks to box to storage. So move here, move. Now this one is a bit awkward because I think we need to keep this thing inside. No, th this is where we found out something interesting because we wanted to do as few things as possible. So it finds a plank, moves to the plank, it pick up, picks up the plank. But we don't want the move command to happen, but it still needs to find them. I don't think this will work. Let's try. Now we should move pick up. Yeah, this doesn't work. I'm not sure why. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's just weirdness in the way that you work. But if we now do this, so we get a copy 
we do this and delete those. Then we don't have a move command inside. We only have the find command inside. Let's try that and see if it's a bit faster. Find, pick up, find, pick up. Yes, so it does find them between, a, no. Is it picking up? Mm, what trade? Yeah, it's picking up. It has three planks now. It was just a bit hard to see. And then we record, put the move there and put this one inside here and forever. Now this thing could also be until this one is full, then it will stop. But if it's on forever, it's going to, it's going to um, kind of stay instead of it stopping when it's filling it up, it's stopping when it's full and it has planks in its hand. So it stops a bit later in the process. So this is nice. Now we have the things in the, in the uh, storage. We also need a bot to turn these into, let's see, find turf, turf, turf to soil. Do we need this? I don't think we do right now. So you are going to go to the pallet and fill your hands and move the chopping block to empty your hands. To empty your hands until hands empty. And you, uh, they can hold three of them. We have 14. So right now I'm just going to do it, say, five times. And this is Tam uh, Pole Make. Don't want to go completely overboard here. So one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Nice. That's one. And this is this going to be for it's going to be one tile up at least. Let's see, let's bring four of these. Or well, three of them. We only have three. Sure. One in here. Two, three planks. We need definitely need more planks. I didn't get one because I was fighting the bot for it. Oh, and we have the forestry done. So this is already a mission complete for this episode. We have the commemorative slab we have forest going on R not right now but <laughs> because all of them are out of power so i guess this might be the time to <laughs> to start uh, making a bot that can power it so this is good uh these are going to be added down there and we need a log and we need to start this bot again until thingy is full. Yeah, sure. Let's just run it and we'll stop it if, if we need to. So we need one more storage container and that's going to be for the uh, planks. I oh, sorry, not planks, the sticks. So we need, uh, we need to wait a second for the blanks to not be used for anything else. And while that happens, I think we should make more workbenches because we really need to automate the uh, things. Although we need bots for that. So this bot is going to gather sticks maybe. Uh, we need stick gathering and we need stone gathering before we can make the tools. So I think... Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Sneakily, sneakily stole a couple of blanks. So we have seeds that are usually going directly back into the forest. So we can move that one here. 
that's sticks and then one more for the stones and there we go we're going to need so many of the storage boxes because we're going to have one each tool as well okay that's so seed sticks stones let's place a couple of stones in it so we know that's what it's for oh and we have a free bottle here stump remove oh no this is part of a grape this is the stump removal grape so let's stop the group put both bots down here they are both there good and then get the fill hole spot record move and down here good and start just to fill that one hole um, and this one can be gather no we need to be consistent so sticks to box Move to stick, or find stick, move to stick, until hands full, put stick in box, until hands empty. There we go, there we go, leaving a skip thing in this one for now, might change it later, doesn't really matter. And there we go, I'm going to manually make an axe as well. because the uh, pot chopping the trees run out. Yes. Good, good, and good. Okay. So now we have planks and we have poles, so we can make more boxes, but right now we can't make more bots because we don't have logs. And here, we're done here we're done this this is so nice because uh, although we have a few idle bots right now quite a few they're all set up to do a thing they're that they, they do have a job so that's good we need uh, one seed we can find a seed here I believe oh no it's already being picked up so we need to, uh, I'm going to move up here to get a seed. Do we have anything that stores the seed automatically? No. So we can move the box. Or not a stick, not a stick, just a seed. Into the box. And one more here. Eight of them, that's nice. Okay, so let's move back down, and while we move, the box is going to move as well. So, seeds go here, poles go here, and three planks. Now that we remove the planks, this loop is going to start again. Or no, because it's instantly filled up. So we just need uh, two planks now. and a log. This is nice. Getting the materials to mass produce bots is so nice. It's kind of like a milestone in the game. There, well, I guess almost everything you do in this game is going to be a milestone. Now, you are going to be a recharge bot. So I'm going to use both of these bots to teach it how to recharge because we can let it have several areas to work in so this is going to be i think it's forever's yeah it's forever forever but we let it skip and then forever and this is going to be recharge forest 
and of course maximum area good and this area is also going to be maximum but it's going to be here now it's going to skip 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 this one when it can't find any then down here and when it can't find any it's going to skip so it's going to be on a strange loop oh it found someone nice so <laughs> it's actually recharging so i can't show you the skip skip thing there we go so this is this is how it's going to be when it's idle but then it's going to recharge in both those squares so that's going to be in the recharge group and uh, the recharge forest is of course forest and parts part sure this area is going to be to make parts as it already is and then uh, the next bot is going to is going to gather seeds so that's going to be uh, seeds to box good and two crate all these three in good and do this forever yeah could do until box is full but i wanted to stop on add to tree seed to storage so it stands here with full hands instead of stopping at the box with empty hands after it fills it so it's easier to code and it's actually more efficient. So uh, let's do a maximum area first though. There we go. Now we need to change. Uh, let's see, seeds to box is part of forestry and then seed plant is going to stop because this one is going to move to tree seed storage. This is going to be removed and this is going to be outside and now we have enough seeds so we don't need the skip arrow and there we go so it fills its hand and then it looks for holes to put the seeds in and we need one bot for the stones but i think i think the priority is going to be automating the tools so I'm going to manually put a couple of stones in the box here and then we're going to use this. So I think we're going to going to put it here. Then we need a storage crate for it as well. And that's made by planks and poles. So that can be here. Four. And four kind of unnecessary to get the box instantly because I don't think the first bot has the brains to to do that let's see so if we go like this um, then the next one can be here maybe yeah the axe is a bit special so I kind of want to start here maybe because then it can go two tiles, two tiles, two tiles. But the axe over here is fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. Good. So both spades and axes are in demand, uh, but the axe is the most important. Is it though? No, it's the same same importance because both lattices have uh, forestry going. I like this plan though, and we don't need to store the poles just yet because we don't need to extract them for anything except uh, uh, manually for the building. So is the box full? No, <gasps> we have an issue. Yes. Until hands full. Aha, we have an issue, had an issue until hands empty 
There we go. That explains why that didn't work. I should have noticed when uh, making it, but sometimes small stuff goes goes through the goes through the gaps. Goes through something at least. I don't notice everything. So that's two quick bots. Oh, and recharge bot is now charging them up. That's great. So we should have two of them because then the recharge bot will be recharged as well. Oh, so making off the axe. Uh, how do we do this? So I think we pick up a stick, store it. We can't store it because these don't have a backpack the first. Okay, so we either need to upgrade them to be able to store or we need to upgrade. Well, we need to give them a backpack or we need to upgrade to bot MK1 instead of the ba basic bot. So it's going to be like this instead. And this is temp make axe. And it's going to be times. The reason I'm doing this is because if not, we need two bots for each, one to make and one to store. Uh, that's too many bots right now. So it's going to be make 10. And I'm going to help it out by shoving it in the box. And this means we can teach this one to go pick up Max. I'm going to move uh, let's see, until hands empty, and then we go up, and this we do until, actually we do it forever. I was going to say until logs full, but if the logs go full and we don't use them for a while, and we run out of sticks and stone, then that's bad because we won't get an influx of sticks and stone if we don't get an influx of log unless we use a bot with a mallet and I don't think we're going to need that. So, um, so this is fine. Let's just do it forever. And that means as long as it can find a tree, it's going to do this. And there we go. And the same we are going to do for the spade. And we have a bot for that as well. Do we have a bench? We do not. So let's make a crude brick bench. That's two sticks and two logs. Let's make it by the logs. And two sticks. Good. That was going to be here and here. It feels a bit crowded around around the stone, but that's fine. Maybe we can crowd it even more. Nah, going to leave it uh, so it has a nice path down to the stone storage. So you. Um, going to pick up a stone but there's no stone in the box so it's hard to teach you to pick up a stone if we can't show it that okay so pick up a stone oh stop for a second need to do the recipe uh, pick up a stone place in here a stick place in here that will craft and repeat 10 times Temp make spade. Temp spade make. That sounds a bit weird. It's temporary anyway, so it doesn't matter what we call it. Good. Now, dig for forest is going to pick up a crude spade. Now, instead of doing it as we did last time, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, th this can be forever. That's fine. Uh, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to give it my spade. I'm going to make sure this works. 
So until hands empty and go. It should skip and create spade. I placed the spade in the box and bought a ticket. Good. And that means <laughs> first one we fix. When we fix one tool, another tool is needed. But this means right I think right this instant forestry is completely automated. We have the spade automatically, we have the axe automatically, we have the seeds being put in a box and we have the seed planter going to the box and planting the seeds. And we have a large area to do this in, much larger than we need right now, but, but uh, it, for people who have played the game or seen much of the game, you know that we are going to need so, so much wood. And of course, we need uh, still to automate putting the tool in the box. Oh, that's a mistake. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. Stone, 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 stone. Yeah, and apparently we need to, to automate putting stone in the box as well. But this is good. Now, now forestry is automated and we have the halfway set up parts to uh, automate all the way down to poles on a pallet. So that's good as well. So that's everything we need to start really building. We don't have uh, research yet and to get there we need to do some I think it's here. We need a, a bot team made with three bots. So we, we don't have that. Oh, we do actually. Maybe we need more parts construction. Let's make one more so we get this milestone. And that is tool construction. And the tools can be Good, so that's make axe and make spades there and make poles can go into part construction and planks to storage is also part construction and there we go. I think this is the thing that unlocks stuff. It unlocks gear and wheel at least and we get a slab. And was that it? Yeah, okay, yeah, we, we needed it to make the gear to make these things. So now we can start doing research, but for that we need food. And um, that's going to be a bit later, but we have the things going now. We have logs happening. And we should have planks happening, uh, but apparently we didn't put the forever outside this loop, so once this one filled, it's done and it won't restart. So that's important. If you make uh, a loop with the condition, it, it needs a forever, it to be in a forever loop, because if not, it will stop when the condition is fulfilled. So there we go. We have many logs now, so I'm going to start it again. Okay then, that was it for today. I feel like we did amazing progress and uh, I keep looking over here because we had a couple of bots there, but everything is centered at this location now. So now we have the forestry going and that means we will have uh, kind of an infinite supply of everything that's needed to make bots, which means we can mass produce and escalate from there. So in the next episode, I don't know what we're going to do, probably some escalation and making all the parts here and maybe see, well, well, let's see, let's see where we go. So thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye.